Jared Poland, Fronos, Photo. Dot com and it's time for your raw edits of the week number 60 from this photo that Adam Lerner took backstage of a model getting ready for fashion week. First, I also want to thank everybody for all of the birthday wishes. We had a great birthday party last night. I had a blast. The most fun I've ever had at any of my own parties. It was it was great. And uh, I look forward to bringing you some of the band, uh, the, the musicians that played, as well as some of the photos. I ended up taking photos of the band playing in my loft. So that's a whole other thing that's coming to you at some point soon. And don't forget that I do have a red sale going on for my birthday where everything red in the store, I Shoot Raw, is on sale. And there's some specials there for you guys to check out. So be sure to do that. And let's get to your edits right now. There are 31 of them. And keep in mind that I go through and I pick, there were 27 pages this week, and I pick the photos based off of just like you know if I see something interesting I may pick it out and talk about it so if you see some image that is similar to yours uh, I may have basically picked one in the earlier pages that was similar to something maybe on page 26 and I just didn't want to show the same thing twice but that may happen here we'll see this is the first shot I love the tone of the edits I love how how uh, crunch not crunchy but it's got a beautiful glow to it, a, a nice hue, a nice split tone. Uh, they added a nice crop. The image is just you're drawn right in to the eyes of this model. Very nice job there. This is a nice color edit. The, you know what's funny? I didn't even notice the bottles, the Fuji bottle of water in the back. I didn't notice this stuff for some reason until I was on page like 20. I'm like, were those bottles there all the time? I thought somebody brought the background out. But this is just a beautiful smooth color edit. Really love the color of the lips. They're nice and pink. They pump the pink there. Beautiful eyes. This guy looks great here cutting the hair. Just a really nice representation of this image. Um, same thing, I like the color edit here. The crop is a little interesting for me. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I don't like it, but I thought it was a nice muted, more pulled back type of edit, so that's why it's here. This is an interesting crop. It's much tighter. They did a lot of softening to the face, but I thought the color was nice. The pun the she pu <laughs> they pumped the pink of the lips. The eyes look tremendous and great here. They kept in the hair. Oh, you know, I'll, I'll get to this one in the future, but uh, there's something I just noticed here. This is done very, very well. So I like it. The crop is tight. And you start to see that, you know, when you do crop an image this far, even though it's a D3, S image, you can still start to see some issues going on in there. Look at this. Look, you see the difference here? They changed the eyes. This guy, this person changed the eyes and they changed the lips, which changes the whole context of the image. Um, in terms of the edit, not a big fan of the color, uh, the color or the crop, but you know, this is all about, look, they shrunk the lips and they changed the shape of the eyes, which changes how the image is totally. So that's amazing. I thought that was worthwhile shooting, uh, showing. This was interesting too. Really, really tight, strong vignette. Draws you straight into the image. You can see that the guy's still working on her hair. You know, it's a little over the top on how, how contrasty and dark it is, but I think it works somewhat. Um, that's why I picked it. I think it has a nice feel. To, well, not say a nice feel. I think it's interesting, and interesting sometimes works out very well. This is my. This is by far my favorite edit of the week. Um, great job. This is amazing. Uh, basically... From the other images, you can see that the hand is, is this way. So then they basically cut the hand off in Photoshop and then turned it this way to show that he's going to slice her neck. Beautiful, tremendous job. The blood splatters, the blood coming out of the lips, the beating up of her face, the, head, the hand on top of the head, the way that they rotated this hand here, the way they put it behind all of this. This is a great edit. This is one of my favorite edits that I've ever seen on the website, actually, because it's so creative and done extremely, extremely well. So cheesy smile. Awesome job. This is the best one that I've seen to date in the 60 weeks that I can recall. I really like this a lot. Of course, we got to put a fro. We're trimming the fro. Nice job there. Uh, beautiful, beautiful edit. Look at the eyes. Look at the lips. Look how smooth the face is. Now, it's a little blown out a little bit, but it's a beautiful edit. I really like it. Again, here, this is nice too. I think it looks like there's a slight vignette at the bottom, but look how smooth she looks. The eyes pop, the lips pop. I know I keep saying that, but it just draws you in. Even though this is a different color edit than before, this is done extremely well. I like this as I like it. Oh, wow. Look at the differences here, guys. Look at the differences in how you develop from one 
to the next. And again, week in and week out, it's amazing what people will, what people can do with the power of the raw file. So I shoot raw. If you're out there and you shoot raw, thumbs up to this if you got to this point in the video because thumbs up for shooting raw. Awesome. Um, look at look at this. So this is a nice edit as well. It's just not as soft as the last one, but it's still very, very nice color. Uh, this is great. The scream mask, the, the scary eyes. Um, other than that, you know, it, it's very creative. And I love when I see the extreme off the wall edits. I ask for them each week and week in and week out. People do oblige and they do do those. This is another one. Very creative. Like it a lot. Nice job. Again, look at the, I love this. Look at that. They took out the yellow. They took out the green. Beautiful on the face. You're drawn right into these eyes. It's just really, really clean. Really, really smooth and really nice. Uh, here's a nice black and white edit. Now that I see it with the others, I think it's a little on the, the muted side. I'd like to see a little more contrast um, by bumping up the exposure and then following through with the contrast. It would be pretty cool. That's one of my gifts from the party. Um, so I like that. Uh, this is nice. I like, I, you know, it's thrown back into like a sepia tone look back in the day. It's a little muted for my personal liking. I would like to see more contrast, but for what the person did here, the eyes really come out very well. And they added a nice border, which works for this image. This is a nice edit as well. The difference here, you know, we got gray eyes and some of the others, you've got the blue eyes and things like that. But this is really, really nice. I like it. The crop, the crop isn't bad at all either. It's a nice little crop thrown on that image. This is, you know, a nice edit, but this is what I want to show you, that this is a little too far. They take in the, the sharpening a little too far. The eyes pop too much. They look too fake. They look too sharp. And that can happen quite often if you um, go too far on the, con not the contrast, if you go too far on the clarity slider, be very careful. And as we start to go into CS4, I think a lot is going to change. I like this edit as well. It's a little blue but it's fine. You know, when these images stand on their own, they look really great. So I like the edit. I love the pink. I love the blue eyes. Nice job. This is another representation. It's a little more muted. Um, I'm not sure why I picked it at this point after seeing the others. Who knows why I picked, but, um, you know, it's a little more muted. I like this, obviously, a little bit more. But, you know, some of you guys may like this one. A nice, thick, black and white edit. They did a lot of smoothening to the face, but it's a very nice contrast, -y, nice, thick. Uh, I like the edit there. This is just off the wall. This is extreme. Look at that. Look what they did to the eyes. Look what they did to the lips. It's just so amazing. Again, what you can do. It doesn't even look like the same girl, but it's a great edit. It's a nice, it's just a nice creative edit that I, that I like to see here. Hey, that's me. Somebody's cutting my hair. It looks like he's look like he's playing with my hair. Very interesting. Wait, hold on. The eyes. the eyes got much bigger in this image. It looks like the well, that's big, but look, the eyes are much bigger. They they pop more. So it's always interesting how people can can change the image. I like the edit as well on this. And here we go again with an avatar look to it. Very creative. Um, you know, she's getting a haircut underneath the, the, the brain tree. I don't remember what it was called, the tree of life or something. Um, very creative, nice job. Look at this. This, this gives me like that perfect dark look because she looks like the girl from Perfect Dark N64, by the way. Love that game. Great game. That was a great follow up to Bond. It's kind of the same game, except for the heads up isn't as good. Love Perfect Dark. It's great. I, you know, it's funny. When I bought Perfect Dark, you had to buy like the, four megabyte expansion or it was two megabyte to four or it was four to eight that made you be able to use the graphics of it love this edit a lot this is very nice as well really like the tones here like the like the like the yellow color here it's just really good again i like that a lot a little more muted this one's like pulling back on the yellow i like that as well and heidi's calling i'll have to let her in in a minute when i finish this um like this edit as well uh, soft. This gives it that old world nouveau style, and I really, really like it. Uh, and I'm, I, does that take us back to the beginning? Nope. Nice black and white. This is cool. I don't even mind the, the, the way that it's rotated. It looks good this time, and I think that works pretty well. Um, I like the color, maybe a little too on the cyan side, but I like the rotation and how they really pump the pink in this one. Way to go on pumping the pink on that. Okay, so now we have just more of a uh, just an isolation. I thought it was it was creative. That's why I picked it out. They isolated the shot here. You know, she's. I would like to see a little more exposure on the face, but that's just me. But this is a very extreme edit, and I do like that. 
Uh, and I think that takes us back to the beginning. And that does. So those are your raw edits of the week number 60. We'll be back with another raw edit of the week 61 coming up soon, sponsored by Alan's Camera.com. Check out Alan's Camera.com, Nikon, Sony, all of that stuff, Canon. Uh, and don't forget about the red sale, which is going on right here. You click this, you go to the store, and you can pick up some stuff on, not clearance, but on sale for my birthday and Valentine's Day. There you have it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya!